Hi everybody, it's Miss Cristobal and we're back in science. Chapter 2, Lesson 2, Exploring Heating and Cooling. In the first activity of our lesson, we will compare an unheated and heated mixture. We've learned that sometimes after a substance has been heated or cooled and returned to its original temperature, its properties are different than they were before. Let's see if heating one of our mixtures will make it even stickier. If so, then it might be good to add that mixture to our glue. We've completed the design cycle once, but engineers may go through the cycle many times. We're returning to the learn phase. It was a great time to turn to this page in your packet, or you can pause the video and get a paper or something to write with. This lesson we will have two parts. We will observe the mixtures and set up our sticky test. And then we'll actually do a sticky test and write down our results discuss each step of part one in detail as we look at the materials we'll be using. So you can see in the photo to the left, there are two mixtures. There's a cornstarch and water that's not heated, and there's a cornstarch and water mixture that's heated, and there are some papers to do our sticky test on. So first we'll observe one mixture at a time, write down our observation, then move on to the second mixture first mixture which is cornstarch and water that's not heated so you can see it's labeled and i'll turn the cup all the way around it'll be good to pause the video at some time to jot down your observations so again this is cornstarch and water that's not heated next i want to show the next mixture, which is cornstarch and water that's heated and that's been brought back to room temperature. So there it is, labeled again. It's always a good time to pause your video as you jot down your observation. wondering two things. What did you observe about the properties of the two mixtures? How were they the same or different? I'm going to show you what I wrote. First, I wrote that the heated mixture was fluffy and thick. Next, I wrote about the not heated mixture, that it was thin and runny. I'm wondering if you had similar ideas different ideas and were you able to jot it down on your paper? Next part, we will make some predictions. Remember when we predict, we say what we think will happen based on what we know. So using your observations of the cornstarch mixtures, which do you predict will make better stickier glue? Is it the cornstarch and water that's not heated or the cornstarch and water that's not heated? So you can pause the video and make your prediction. I want us to make another prediction. I want to know how many beans do you think will remain stuck when we use each mixture. So when we're doing our sticky test today, we will use a total of 10 beans per mixture. So we're going to use 10 beans for the cornstarch and water that's not heated and cornstarch and water that's heated. So write down your observation or write down your prediction on how many beans you think will get stuck on each mixture. And I'll also record my prediction. Here's my prediction. I think that a not heated mixture will have two beans stuck. And I think the heated mixture will have eight beans stuck. Were yours similar, different? As part of our lesson, I'm gonna show you how I prepared my sticky test. So you're going to use a paper. I used kind of like a cardstock index paper and I labeled it. This one we're going to use for the cornstarch and water that's not heated. I'm going to lay it flat. Um, I'm going to take my mixture that I showed you earlier and I'm just going to put about a little bit on there. Remember, it has to be a similar number of blobs in size and I'm going to stick my two beans on there. And I'm going to do that five more times for this mixture and I'm going to let this dry. And usually it takes overnight to dry. And then I'm going to do the same for my heated mixture and I'm going to label it the same. But this time I'm going to say cornstarch and water and that one's going to be heated. Remember in this case I'm using 10 beans. 
I just used two for now to demonstrate what it would look like. When we let our sticky test dry, we'll do another activity where we use a card sort that we can find online. So we'll send the link again in our packets. So we've read and made observations to gather evidence about what happens when substances are heated or cooled and return to their original temperature. Next, we'll get a chance to further explore substances and their properties with two card sort activities. First one, and it has different directions. Undo, to undo an action, redo, make an action you did and happen again, start over, and the instructions. So you're going to see that there are two photos of each substance, one taken before the substance was heated or cooled, and one was taken after. So our job is to sort out the pictures, whether it's under before and one under after, so that the photos line up in pairs. Here's our first example. I'm going to use the crisp green leaf that hasn't been heated or cooled, so I'm going to place that under before. Now I remember from reading the book, Can You Change It Back? that when it gets frozen, it gets limped. So I'm gonna put this photo under the after column. Get a chance to pause the video, sort the photos to the before and after columns, and then talk about with somebody around you or think about how each substance's properties before and after it was heated or cooled. Did it change? Is it the same or is it different? Another sorting activity and it's called can it change back so i'm going to show you how it works you see a page with photos again and we're sorting them in two groups like earlier but this time the groups are different one says can change back and the other says can't change back you see the same photos that we had earlier with the lettuce and the lettuce that has been frozen so i want you to think and decide can it change back or can it not change back I'm going to give you some time so you can pause the video and think and where you could place the lettuce. So now you're going to have some time to sort out the photos if it can change back and cannot change back columns. And then we'll talk about it in our next slide. I hope you had some time using the sorting card activities. Now let's talk about what we just did. My first question is, which substances can change back and which cannot? And what evidence do you have? My next question is, what does this tell us about the substances that can't change back after they are heated or cooled and return to their original temperature? So it'll be a good time to pause the video and think about these questions and jot down our ideas and I'll share my idea next. Yes. I wrote the wax, silver, and popsicle can change back. The fried eggs, burnt wood, frozen lettuce, Toasted marshmallow, cake cannot. And I know from my evidence that their properties are different. And my next question is, what does this tell us about the substances that can change back after they are heated or cooled and return to their original temperature? Well, I know that they are now new substances. I'm wondering what you wrote for your evidence and what can change or cannot change back. The card sorting activity helped us come to this key concept in our lesson. If a substance doesn't change back to the way it was, it has become a different substance. In this next activity, we will record and see our sticky test results. Before we do that, let's go back to this question for chapter two. Can heating a substance and returning it to its original temperature make a better, stickier glue? So this is the question that we'll be answering throughout the chapter. Now, before we look at our sticky test results, let's go back to these two questions. The first question is, what is the purpose of this sticky test? And what is our design goal? Do you remember our design goal? Here are my ideas. The purpose is to figure out which mixture is the best at sticking beans to a paper. And our design goal is to design a glue that has a property of being sticky. So here are my dry sticky tests. We're going to start first with the cornstarch and water that's not heated. As you can see, it's dried up. Now we're going to see how many beans will stuck on the paper. From what I can see right now, there's already two that's coming out. So let's see. Here we go. Oh. Just like last time, do you remember that lesson? 
There are no beans that's stuck on the paper. When it's cornstarch and water, that's not heated. Look at cornstarch and water that's heated. You can see, are you ready to find? Beans will step on. There you go. Now it's vertical. I'm going to shake it three times, just like how we usually do our sticky test. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Wow. As you can see, our results indicate that there are 10 beans left, all being stuck on the heated mixture. This page in our packet. And when we filled in the observation, and now I filled in the sticky test results that we just got. So remember when you saw the video earlier in the heated and cooled mixture, there were 10 beans left. And in the not heated mixture, there were zero beans left. Give you some time to jot down your result. Now we're going to use this graphing tool again that you've seen before to graph our results from our cornstarch sticky test. Graphs help us easily use and see and share our test results. Our graphing tool, the title of this graphing tool is called, called Cornstarch Test Results. This might look familiar. On the left side, there is a mixture or two mixtures, cornstarch and water that's heated and cornstarch and water that's not heated. And here we have the number of beans and then we're gonna click on the plus sign to add how many beans were left. So remember in the heated mixture, there were 10. So I'm gonna write down 10 and there's our bar graph to the right. And in the not heated mixture, there were zero beans left. I'm gonna put zero. Here's how we can share and see our results. After entering our results in the graphing tool that made our bar graphs, let's answer these questions. How many beans did the heated cornstarch and water mixture hold during the sticky test? And how many beans did the unheated cornstarch and water mixture hold? You remember how many for each category? Here are my results. In the heated, all 10 beans stuck. And then the unheated, there were zero beans that stuck. So we found out the results are for a sticky test. I want to ask you, based on our results, which would be better to include in order to make a sticky glue? Search and water mixture that has been heated or one that has not been heated. I want you to pause the video and jot down what you think might make a better sticky glue. If you're able to jot down your idea, here is what I wrote. I said, I think the heated mixture because all 10 beans stuck on the paper. I have today in our lesson. Today, we observed our heated and unheated mixtures. We predicted which mixture will be making a stickier glue based on a sticky test. We did some card sorting where there it can change back, cannot change back, what happened before and after. And finally, we observed the results of our sticky test. And from there, we thought of which would make a sticky glue, a mixture that's heated or unheated. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you had fun. I'll see you next time.